in this particular section we are going to discuss about what is known as a dashboard creation now dashboard creation is a relevant uh, technique in terms of uh, let's say you have a lot of data around with you and you want to use that data to represent and give out meaningful statistics or meaningful uh, data out of whatever data is given to you right now a lot of the time these views are relevant from the managerial perspective so someone in the marketing division of a firm may look at data and say that look i want only a specific portion of the data and i want that based on a dynamic selection right let's take an example to understand this now assume that we have a company which has the following sales data from states across india let's assume these are sales in terms of numbers of units of something that they have sold across these states and this is for four years 2010 11 12 and 13 now we want to represent this in a format where if someone selects a state they get a chart displayed for that only right so i want a chart where if i select rajasthan i get only these four line items if i select andhra pradesh i get only these four items in the chart and if i select gujarat i get only these four items in that so the chart has to dynamically get created based on what my selection of the data is right that's a sort of a dashboard dashboards can come in a variety of formats but this is one of the simpler ones we are looking at where we are saying that based on the selection of a particular uh, state we should see a dynamic chart getting created at our end right so let's first try and find out that what kind of data would be required by us so what i want is that when i write a state's name here i want that the chart should automatically get populated with the data that is available right so this typing of the state's name should give us this now what is the data needed the data is the year and the sales right so we will put in let's say two headers called year and sales and you know that there are only four years 2010 2011 2012 2013 right only four of these data points one of the mechanisms of whatever, let's say 20 years then typing would have been a problem could have copied it and you know uh, created a formula which might have been useful but let's see if there is something else so what you can do is you can select this piece and copy this data control c right now when you go on the dashboard on the year click on paste special select and click on paste special and in terms of paste special click on transpose here what does transpose do transports converts a row into a column or a column into a row so when i click on transpose and i click ok you see what happens here the data comes out i will change the formatting of the data of course i will remove all the borders essentially and have the data in the format that was there so these are the years that are there 2010 11 12 13 and we don't necessarily need this data in the form of commas so i will remove the comma portion there right so this is the year that we are looking at what did we do we went and selected these cells we did a copy of this control c came here clicked on this right click paste special when you click on paste special there are two things you, need to, you, can, you can click on transpose and you could have only clicked values so automatically it would have pasted only values we did not click on values there which is why it uh, it put in the data in the form of uh, in the form of uh, the the formatted that we had, the format data that we had seen there right bold and and the and the table borders right we don't need that here we will now need the sales data so let's create the table here itself we will put all board borders here and i need the sales data now note that the year is given to us and the raw data is also kind of given to us can i select this data here right so the first set of point i need i know this is in column one this is in column two this is in column three this is in column four right in this table here if i select the entire table for a vlookup purpose 
right which is column one which is column two which is column three so this is column one two three four and five so i can directly put in two three four and five and i can get that answer right so let's plug in the numbers two three four and five and get the answer so what i'm trying to do is we look up correct what am i looking up for i'm looking up for tamil nadu I am looking up for Tamil Nadu in this table here and I can freeze this table by pressing F4 and which column am I looking at for 2010? That's column 2 and I'm looking at an exact match, 0. I get an exact match, 0. So we get an exact match, 45419. Let's see if this is correct. Tamil Nadu gives me 45419, right? So this is the data that we are looking at 45419 and this 45419 comes here in terms of our calculations. So this is an important yardstick that comes in and we, we get the data here. Now I can actually do a we look up again and look up for Tamil Nadu, comma, where do I look it up for? Here, freeze this, comma, three, comma, zero, enter, right? So that's the second year sales. I can actually put in two, three, four, five here and link this. Instead of putting the two here, I can remove this and put this as the column index number. And I can freeze Tamil Nadu here as well and click on enter. When I do this and I select and drag it down, it gives me the data set here. Now, instead of Tamil Nadu, if I put Rajasthan, it should automatically change the value to Rajasthan, right? So it changes the value to Rajasthan. Let's see if Rajasthan is correct. 26,114,36,486, 46,114,36,486, and 5,081, 47,620,58,91. If I change this to Kerala, it would automatically put in the Kerala numbers here, right? Now, can we create a chart? All we need to do is select this set of data and insert a combo chart, let's say, or, or you know, a column chart essentially. So let's plug in a column chart. Now, this because we have selected the data here and there is an adjacent column that is available there it doesn't necessarily look nice so let's let's do this in two stages let's delete this the one thing we will do is this two three four five does not look good here so i will do a control control x here and let's say we paste this here nothing else changes and just to kind of is not needed on our dashboard so i'll hide it so just right click the column and hide that column. So that column gets hidden. If I have to unhide it, I just go here and double click and it shows itself, right? So we will hide it, not need it. Now we want to introduce a chart. So let's select this data, insert a column chart. Now let's first change the chart title to sales. And more importantly, you see year and sales both are represented here. So that's not correct. I don't want the year to be represented at all here. So I can right click, select the data and remove the year. So I can I can actually forget this, remove the year from here and edit this, the horizontal axis, if you see, and select the year data here and click on OK and click on OK. So what did we do? Let's see what was the problem. The problem was when we selected this data, automatically Excel created one, two, three, and four. It put both year and sales as data points in the column chart, right? I don't want that. So what do we do? We right click, select the data. I remove the, the entries from here. So this goes off. Horizontal axis labels, I select this, select this, 2010 to 13 and click on OK. And so the chart changes to this. 
I don't need the legend here, so I can select and delete the legend. I can now try and see what could be done in terms of uh, the formatting, right? So let's remove this. Let's say we go to design and let's look at a few designs. So let's say we get this kind of a design here and let's say we want to introduce a sort of a trend line here, right? So add chart element trend line and let's introduce, you know, a trend line and more trend line options. When you look at the trend line options, what kind of trend line is needed? Click on polynomial because it gives you a sort of a curved line in line with what kind of changes have happened in the sales numbers, right? Uh, data labels also we can we can leave them here, but for a, whatever state we are choosing, the sales for that state are available here, right? That's what we have kind of looked at. That's what we have kind of calculated. Now let's see if I change this to Rajasthan, what happens? Let's change this to Rajasthan. We automatically see the data changes. Let's see if we change this to Tamil Nadu, what happens? You see the data changes again and so on and so forth. So practically the chart is automatically getting realigned based on what our data requirement is, correct? So that's how you create a dynamic dashboard kind of a chart just to make things appear slightly better. What we can do is probably take this and the fill color could probably change to something more bright like this and uh, and that kind of works out our dynamic chart now let's see what happens if we actually put in a state which is not available there so goa is not there if i put in goa it starts creating a problem because we don't have data for goa right also Let's see what happens if we misspell something. So let's say by mistake, instead of Tamil Nadu, someone types in, misses the M there in Tamil Nadu, right? So you see a problem there as well. How do we eliminate this set of data point? Because you know, to, if someone has to actually look at what states are available and then input each one of them one by one, that becomes a tedious task, right? So this is the first part of the dashboard creation, which is essentially the dashboard becomes fairly uh, simple, quick, uh, dynamic chart that is there. Now let's move to the second element in the dashboard creation, which is what we are going to do here, is that let's see if we can create a menu from which this could be selected. Can we create a menu from which this could be selected, right? Excel allows us to create what is called as a drop down box. So I can, within Excel, create a drop down menu from which we can select whatever state we want. Now, how do we create this drop down menu is what is going to be our next task, right? So here, go to data, click on data. Within data, click on data validation, data validation here. So we click on data validation. Click on that. You open up a menu here, right? Now it says allow any value. Instead of this, click on allow a list. So now when you click a list, it asks you whether you have to ignore blanks. Yes. In cell drop down. Yes. It also asks for what is the source of that list, right? So not to make any mistake, I'll click on this here and select the source. Where is the source? The source is on the raw data sheet. This is the source, right? So I can select this entire set of data. That's my source. I can put this here and click on OK. Now see what happens. There is a menu that has come in and I can select Maharashtra. I can select Tamil Nadu. I can select Sikkim or any of these states which are available here. That's the best part about this, where based on the chart, based on the name that you have selected here, 
you get the values in this table because we have put in a dynamic VLOOKUP here. And based on this, your chart automatically changes its value, right? So this is extremely useful for someone who's creating a sort of a dashboard where effectively these data points are getting calculated and put up automatically, right? The other interesting thing you could do is instead of this sales here, just link it to the state's name and you find that that also, that also kind of comes up on your chart itself. So you click on Kerala, you click on Gujarat. What did we do? We just, instead of the term that was written here, sales, just selected equals to and put Gujarat there, linked it to that. So when we select a state, when we select a state, it automatically creates that dynamic chart. That's what dashboard can do for us. That's a very simplistic dashboard which still has a little bit of uh, a non-dynamic scenario, which is essentially, if you remember, we had put in the lookup of two, three, four, five column, and that's hard coded and hidden somewhere here. But at a later stage, we'll see if we can remove that as well. So far, we have learned how can we put in a drop-down menu and then create a dynamic chart around it.